Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and today I'm going to talk to you about all the things that suck about network marketing. Just totally suck. And I actually have a list here for you. Um, normally I don't work off lists, I kind of just seek how I'm feeling, but I am going to work off a list today, so bear with me. The first thing is complaining. So people that try your product and they hate it. Um, people that try your product and it doesn't work for them or they purchase your product and they don't even do anything with it and then they still complain about it. I actually had a woman tell me um, her product didn't work um, and she returned it, which is the worst, right? If it's so bad, they return it and want their money back. We have a 30-day money back guarantee and so they're allowed to do that. And when I saw she returned it, I asked her, like, what happened? And she's like, well, it didn't work. And I was like, okay, let's talk about it. Like, what didn't work for you? And she's like, well, I never opened the box. Like, really? You're going to complain you never opened the box? So that's the first thing that, like, totally sucks about network marketing. The second thing is rejection. Um, we all get rejected all the time. I can tell you for every yes I get, I probably get 100 no's. And we do fun like go for no challenges and sort of make a game of it because if not, you get really down on yourself. Like you think it's you and it's not you, but it's part of what kind of sucks about network marketing. But it's a reality even for the top people in the business. They probably get way more no's than actually the bottom people in the business because they're working way harder to hit those goals. And the more no's you get, the more yeses you get. Um, the lying. So sometimes it's people that don't mean to lie, like they have every intention of ordering or they say they're going to order and then they do nothing or they, they ask for your sign up link and they're like, I'm definitely doing this this day. And maybe they didn't lie on purpose, but um, something happened and they changed their mind. And, and it feels to you like it's a lie, like so frustrating. So that's number three is the lying. Um, number four is the haters and the downers. Um, this used to really get to me because people used to put me down or people still put me down um, for doing this business. And they don't understand it. They don't get it. They don't know why I put myself out there. But um, in the end, they're really unhappy probably with something with themselves. And it's kind of projecting on you. So while probably 90 plus percent of people in this business are going to support you and there's going to be that 10-ish percent that are on the line, there's that like less than 1% that are just negative, haters, nasty, mean. And they suck. They totally suck. Number five, the sacrifice. There's a lot of sacrifice that goes into this business. Like if you want to grow a business where you, know, you can retire from your nine to five, um, early. You can retire from having to work for the man. You can earn a full-time income. There's sacrifice that goes in. And that means that maybe you don't get to go out with your friends every single night of the week. Um, maybe you don't get to, you know, have movie night the way that you used to. Maybe you stay in some nights and sacrifice a little bit of sleep to get the work done. That part is difficult and it's something that sucks. But in the long term, you're going to see a huge, huge result from it. So those are kind of the, the top five. So let me read them to you again. Complaining, rejection, lying, the haters and the downers, and the sacrifice. And those are pretty negative. Like those are pretty negative. Now let's talk about the second five. Number six, paying more taxes. Sucks, right? You gotta pay a ton of taxes when you're making a ton of money. It's a real downer of being a network marketer. Um, when you make a lot of money, the government takes more money from you. Just a reality. Um, and can be a downer, but you got to think about it like, if you're taking more money, I'm probably making more money. Number seven, you got to meet a lot of really cool new people. Sucks, right? You got to meet all these people that are like-minded and kicking butt and want to you know, change their lives and help other people change their lives. And you have to hang out with them. You have to get to know them. Real difficult, right? I have met the most amazing people through network marketing and some of my best friends who I didn't even know existed before this opportunity. Number eight, all the trips. 
all the free trips, all the travel. Um, there's a lot of perks. I have been to LA on a free cruise. Um, next year, we're going to the Dominican Republic. We've been to Nashville twice. Um, all these amazing included trips with these amazing speakers with all these people that you really like. Those airports are real difficult, but you got, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to make the sacrifice, right? Real hard part for sure. Uh, nine, personal development. So working on yourself from the inside out. Sometimes it's hard to take a good uh, long look at yourself and say, you know, maybe I'm struggling from the inside out. And that's hard. That's hard for me. It's hard for a lot of people. Like it's just the reality of um, having to self-reflect. And I can tell you personal development has changed my life in a positive way, but in the beginning, it was really hard for me. It's real hard to take a good, hard look at yourself. And that's number nine. And number 10, of course, is all the free time, <laughs> right? Well, how are you gonna spend all this time with your family now that you've been able to be your own boss and work from home? Real difficult to fill that time. Um, you know, maybe it's something you're not used to. So, um, it's so funny, like I just want to share these with you because I obviously, you know, the top five are sort of downers and the top and the bottom five, six through 10, um, are obviously really positive things, but I can understand why, uh, people get down about them. I hear it all the time. Oh my God, I had to pay so much in taxes. Oh, I have to sit in another airport. Like you're going on free trips and you're making more money, like something to be excited about. So I want you guys to think about that. I want you guys to think about how even the negative things can really positively impact your life and how amazing the opportunity is that you have in front of you. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, if you have any other questions, you can check out JillianKaplan.com. Talk to you later. Bye.